Welcome to Zone for Geeks. My name is Casey and today we are going to unbox the Surfboard Cable Modem SP6141. I bought this modem for a couple of reasons. Uh, first of all, it was uh, relatively cheap, uh, $59.99 uh, at the time of this recording. Uh, currently I'm being charged $10 a month from my uh, from Comcast uh, to rent their modem. So this is definitely going to save me some money in the long run. And uh, also I wanted something that did not have Wi-Fi capability. And this modem fits everything that I needed. Um, the reason why I don't want Wi-Fi is because I'm actually going to be using the uh, AC1200 Linksys wireless router. And I'm going to be subnetting my network at home uh, to include a, a network for LAN, one for wireless, and uh, one for my lab. Uh, in, in fact, I'll actually be putting up a video later uh, as I do that because I will be building it from scratch starting with the parts uh, that you're actually going to see here. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, on the box itself, it's uh, fairly straightforward. Um, it gives you uh, 343 megabits per second. Uh, assuming that that's what you actually uh, pay for your for your internet. Uh, currently, I'm paying for 75 down, so I'm not going to get anywhere near the 343. Um, so make sure when you're picking out a modem that it matches the speed at which you are purchasing. Let's uh, flip it over to the back. On the back, it's got some specs. Uh, it comes with one Ethernet port. Uh, and then it, it kind of gives you uh, a rating based on uh, some popular features such as browsing, uh, multimedia streaming. I actually think these are a little bit on the low end. Um, having 75 down and actually working at a company that gives um, uh, one gigabit, then I know the difference and I have not really seen any problems with streaming, uh, browsing or downloading uh, for the 75 so I, I would definitely not really pay much attention to these stars um, depending on how you uh, how your current modem is working then this one's probably going to work about the same. So let's go ahead and open it up and see what we have inside. Got my uh, trusty key knife here. Alright, inside uh, we have the modem, of course. Put this off to the side. We have what looks like uh, probably a Cat5 cable. Yep, Cat5 cable right there. Of course, we have the power adapter. And some reading material. Most likely, there's going to be some warranty information uh, as well as. Uh, some stuff in here to try to sell me some some other features I'm sure I'll just get this out the way probably a uh, small instruction manual on how to do some things as the uh, safety information and then the uh, quick start guide uh, this is important it actually tells you where all the lights uh, what they actually mean since you are going to be replacing your home uh, modem if ever you need to contact your ISP they're going to ask you for light status and these may not match what um, you currently have so you will need to let them know that you've changed and uh, you may need to keep this just for a future reference so let's go ahead and open up the modem itself bear with me this is my first unboxing so uh, you know feel free to leave me comments in the uh, uh, below to let me know where I've done things wrong so it's fairly small. You can see it kind of fits right in the palm of my hand, which is nice, unobtrusive. Uh, it looks like there's some mounting brackets right here, which is actually going to work out great for me because I do plan on mounting this to the wall. Uh, but it doesn't come with any uh, mounting hardware, so no screws, uh, nothing like that. Um, on the front, you've got uh, looks like some kind of plastic protection here. And of course, you've got your light status. And then on the back, uh, very simple and minimalistic, you've got your coax, so your cable going in, your power adapter, and then your data line. Alright, so the next step is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do a speed check currently on my, uh, my Comcast modem so we can compare the two. And uh, then we'll go ahead and get this bad boy plugged in and fired up and let's see what we got. Alright, so please ignore the mess that is uh, this utility room, uh, but there you can see the modem is powering up for the first time. Uh, one thing, I did notice a problem, and um, I can't confirm whether it is with mine or all units, 
But if we come down here, and you see this cable is just very, very loose. Um, it, nothing's going to be in here that should be disturbing it, so for me it won't be a problem. But if you're going to have your modem somewhere uh, where maybe uh, your feet are going to be, then uh, be aware that that may be a uh, an issue. Uh, and just to compare the, the two modems, this is my Comcast modem. I can get the whole thing in there. And as you can see... There's a quite a bit of a uh, size difference there, so um, kind of give you guys a comparison. So once this fully gets uh, booted up, I'm going to do another speed test, and uh, we'll see where we stand, and we'll go ahead and log into the software and uh, check and see what kind of configurations we can do. Okay, and we're back here. We've got the modem connected. Uh, a couple of things of note. I did have to contact Comcast uh, and give them the MAC address for the new modem for me to able to actually get online. Um, and it took me probably about 10 minutes to figure out why uh, I wasn't actually able to get online after everything was fully set up and I should have been. Um, and that's because this modem is, uh, is very minimalistic uh, and it does not actually have any DHCP uh, capabilities. Uh, and of course DHCP automatically assigns IP addresses to your devices. So I ended up having to plug the... Um, my computer directly into the modem in order to actually get online uh, and then what I will do is I'll actually have a um, uh, the unboxing for my my uh, wireless router I'll get that put online and then I'll use that and then I have a sonic wall uh, which is a firewall appliance that will actually uh, ultimately act as my DHCP server uh, once my lab is fully online so uh, but of course the uh, the router can also act as a DHCP server so that will be taken care of very shortly in the meantime uh, now that we've got everything online let's go ahead and do another speed test to see exactly where we are at and if I recall I believe the uh, the download speed last time was right around 90 uh, keep in mind I do pay for uh, 75 and also keep in mind that it's uh, it's been a, probably about an hour hour and a half since I ran uh, my last speed test um, so different times different network times uh, can affect the speed uh, and then the last time I believe my upload speed was uh, right around 12. So it looks like I'm getting about the same. So no loss with the new modem, but no gain, which is fine. Um, since I'm only paying for 75 down and I'm getting 90, that still seems like a fair deal for me. All right, so overall, I'm very happy with the uh, installation of the modem. Uh, I didn't lose anything. I didn't gain anything. But it was very simple, uh, just a couple of wires to install. The only issue I had was with the plug um, that's uh, very loose uh, when it's plugged in. But hopefully that will not cause a problem uh, in the future. So I will include a link for this modem in the description. So if anybody wants to check it out, you can. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them. And don't forget to subscribe.